So welcome to another day in the lab. So today I'm going to seat my cells for MTTSA. And first thing I'm gonna do is wear the lab coat because it's gonna protect me from any splits. And then I'm going to wear gloves. I always UV before using cabinet as precautionary measure. After that, I'm just going to rub alcohol on my gloves. Now it's time to take out plates and check the morphology under the microscope. They look fine and healthy, but media is being turned a bit shallow but that's fine because i'm just going to subculture them today as well now i have turned on fan as well as light of the bar safety cabinet i am just going to spray alcohol all over the surface and wipe it with uh, the help of tissue and now i'm going to take out my drips in and full media to water bath them and after that i'm just going to remove all the media from the plates and replace it with 2 ml of trypsin so that it could detach myself from the bottom of the plate and i will incubate it for like five minutes so these are the 96 wells that i'm using for mttsa now it's time to take out my plates from the incubator because it's already been five minutes and after checking them under the microscope i got to know that cells have already been detached from the bottom and now to stop the action of trypsin i'm going to add 2 ml of uh, full media into the plates it will stop the drips and process to make sure that all the cells have been detached from the bottom i'm just going to pipe it up and down in the plate and make sure all the cells are being detached I'm going to collect my cell suspension into 15 ml tube. So now I'm going to take 950 microliter of full media. So I'm actually going to prepare sample for cell counting. So 950 microliter of media and 50 micro liter of my cell suspension so that's how i usually uh, count my cells so after that i'm just going to make sure that i um, suspend my cells well so for that i'm going to vortex it multiple times so i got my sample for cell counting and here it is so to count the cell, I'm going to use hemocytometer and I also have cover slip over here. So I'm just going to use like 10 microliter of my sample and put the sample in between hemocytometer and uh, the cover slip. So that's how I do it. And I do the same process for like three times so that I could have an average. So now it's time to place it under the microscope and the rule is to count the uh, cells present in the outer bigger boxes like four outer bigger boxes and then take an average and use the formula according to your uh, cell dilution and i have to do it three times so that i could put all the values in my formula and i keep uh, the note because it's easy to forget and easy to mix up the numbers so i always keep the notebook beside my bench after doing the cell count i will be able to deduce my calculation for the volume required for seeding and i will just put that volume into 20 ml of full media and then i will see 200 microliter each well So this is my plate. I have seeded 200 microliter each well and I also have some blank wells as well. It's time to take a look under microscope and then just spray the alcohol all over the plate to prevent contamination and then put it in the incubator. That's it.